Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and I love talking all things fashion and beauty and I share a little bit of my everyday life as well in vlogs. So if any of that sounds good, remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss all my videos. A new series that I'm going to be starting is like trends that I think are worth it. My goal is to help you build your forever wardrobe and like some that I feel are worth investing in because they either pop up quite a bit or they're just really classic trends. So today's trend is ballerina flats, or just flats in general, specifically black ballerina flats. As you know, I don't have a very feminine style aesthetic, and ballerina flats are quite feminine in my mind. So I chose to shop for black ballerina flats. I found some really good options, and I do think that they add something really fun and like a little bit more like charming to my outfits that can tend to be more casual, undone, and sometimes like very tomboy-y. They have four pairs, a pair from The Row, two from Aliyah, and then one from Reformation. Before we get started on trying on these flats, I just wanted to show you some inspo pics um, in terms of like how I would style them and how I feel like they are going to fit into my wardrobe. So here you go. A lot of them are obviously worn with jeans, but I love like flats with like pajama pants or like boxers and kind of just like that contrast of styles like something really casual with something more dressier but not like heels a little bit girlier it was something more like masculine or like poor from the boys you know okay first up are the row they're the aussie napa slipper so they are like this glove flat i have a pair of brown everlane ones similar so i wanted to try a black pair from the row they're almost like slippers which i love because again it's like that contrast in aesthetic it's like a it's supposed to be a ballet flat but it looks like a slipper um, and I love that it's just like very simple, it's plain black leather with a little elastic. And I love that the toe is actually longer. This is what they look like on. I think that they are so beautiful. I love, 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 like, again, like how long this part is. And it's just like a little bit of skin showing here. It's just like a different shape. I just think it looks a little bit more modern, maybe like a little bit more masculine as well. Okay, so the next up are the Alaya. Do they have a name here? Ballerina Strap Suede Goat Mini Eyelets Flat. I got these from Max's Fashion. They have like the Alaya Ballet like Strap Flat has been sold out basically everywhere. And they finally found like one version of them at, on Max's Fashion. And so I ordered them right away. Thankfully they have a good return policy. But I really, really like these. Really want to keep them. But I can't have both like the row and these. So you guys are going to have to help me decide. Of course, Alaya and the row have very different style aesthetics. Let me open this up so you can get the real picture. I am obsessed. I feel like my heart flutters a little bit more when I see these than the row ones, but they are definitely a little bit girlier than what I normally go for. They are so comfortable. I think like if I'm ever gonna buy more ballet flats, I will definitely go for Alaya because I don't know, just the way that the shoe is shaped fits my foot perfectly. Okay, so these are the shoes close up. They're suede, little grommets. Both um, the row and these are made in Italy, so they're just the best quality. Like classic Alaya, like print on the sole. Very different vibe than the row ones. Of course, a little bit more bohemian, a little bit quirkier, which I don't mind because I have nothing like that in my closet. In terms of comfortability, these ones are definitely more comfortable. They just hug my foot better. The buckle and strap over it actually make it like a little bit easier to walk and it's just like a thicker leather so I feel like my foot's more supported versus the row ones because they're so soft and stretchy like almost feels like my foot can lift out of there. In terms of sizing both of the row and Alaya I would say fit true to size. I'm wearing a 37. I'm a 37 pretty much through and through. I wear 37 in Birkenstocks if that helps you but I have a really hard time finding flats because of the way my heel is shaped. Um, most of the times I like no sizes fit they either like dig into my heel or they are too loose and that's why I chose the glove version for the row so the elastic helps then these ones just the way that it envelopes my foot and the strap is there it really really helps I do have a narrow foot too so if you have a narrow foot both of these styles really really work what do we think I really need your help on deciding um, to keep them both or let me know which one to return So these ones are another pair of Alayas. They are the ballet flat. Oh, these ones are the crisscross nap black patent calfskin. They are probably the softest 
patent leather I have ever experienced on my feet in my lifetime. So they are awesome, but I don't think that they really work for me in terms of, like I can't see what I would really wear it with. Um, but for those of you who like patent leather, who have a hard time finding patent leather because they're usually like really stiff, please check out Alaya. My goodness, they are so good. So these are them, they are like this crinkly patent leather and obviously calfskin is in the name. I would say they are like made for people with narrow feet because they fit me so perfectly. If you have wider feet, I don't know if Alaya will necessarily work for you, but this is such a fun shoe. Like it looks so good with jeans, just doesn't really fit my aesthetic. So the crisscross detailing is what like convinced me to get them. I thought they were so special. Um, it really gave you that like ballerina vibe without being super, super girly. This is what they look like on. Again, they're like super, super cool, and I think that I would be jealous if I ever saw anyone else with them, but I have to be realistic. I don't think I can see myself like gravitating towards these in my closet, especially if I have like the row ones or the other Alaya ones. The first time I really like wanted something patent leather, and the first time I put patent leather on my feet and they didn't want to cry. So Alaya is definitely worth the money to me. I am so, so pleasantly surprised. I had never tried their shoes on before, but I think I will definitely be getting more Alaya shoes in the future because it's really hard to find well-made shoes and like shoes that you feel like fit and are made for your like shape of foot. They are definitely a no for me, but I wanted to show you them as an option and kind of like what patent black leather flats look like with a plain t-shirt and jeans because if you're like me, that's kind of like your go-to uniform and, and patent leather would be a fun way to mix things up. Last but not least, our pair from Reformation. These are the Bethany Ballet Flat in black. These are definitely more budget friendly. And the main reason I got them was because, again, the Alaya ones were sold out everywhere and obviously the Alaya ones are triple the price of these. As you can see, they look like the Alaya ones. They have the buckle. They do have actually a pair that have the grommets um, around the opening as well. I'll show you the picture like right there but I was feeling like I wanted to try kind of a more minimal version of it because it already has like the silver detailing in the buckle and in the buckle holes. I did order them a bit too big, um, so I will have to exchange it for maybe like a seven. I got these in a seven and a half, just because I had tried on another pair of Reformation heels in store in a seven and they felt too small. So I wanted to go up and I made a mistake. This is what it looks like up close. Very, very soft leather, as you can see. It's just like buttery soft and so beautiful. I like that it has like a little bit more of like a square, like a rounded square toe. Makes it a little bit different. This is what they look like on. They have a wider opening than the Alaya ones. Um, so just depending on if you have a wider foot, these ones might work better as well. And someone like me who like doesn't usually show a lot of skin, like having a little bit of skin showing on the shoe, like helps balance out the outfit a little bit. So yeah, overall I like them. They are really, really comfortable. So besides Everlane, Reformation is the only brand that I've found flats that I can wear that are like super luxury brands. Let me know what you think about these. Do you think they're a good Alaya dupe? Do you think you like them even more than the Alayas? The only thing that I would say about these is because they are, I think, made for wider feet, I have a little bit of like leather opening on top of that foot. like right here. So that bothers me just a little bit. I can't tell if it's because the size is half a size too big or if I have a half size down it will still do the same thing. Also I will link everything down below and I will link you other options as well like in a lower price range category because I am aware that um, the first couple are very like high investment pieces. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you do want to see more from me. It really helps me so much and I appreciate any of the likes and subscribes and comments even. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon.